Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are going to take a look at question number 16 that appeared in 2016 CBSC class 10 math exam. So let's take a look at the question and see how we can solve the question. So the question goes like this. Solve for x where we have been given an equation. So 1 divided by x minus 1 times x minus 2 plus 1 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 3 equals 2 by 3 where x is not equal to 1, 2, and 3. So on a quick glance, we can see that if we put x equals 1 in this, so what will happen to this factor? This will become 1 minus 1 or 0. So this entire fraction will become 1 divided by 0, which is equal to undefined. Right? So we cannot actually solve this because the entire equation will be undefined at x equals 1. For the same reason, if you put x equals 2, this will be 0, this will be 0. So 1 divided by 0, same thing. The entire equation will become undefined. Similarly, if you put x minus x equals 3, then here x equals 3 will make this factor 0 and this entire uh, fraction will become 1 divided by 0 and undefined and so the entire equation will be undefined. So x cannot have any of these values. x cannot be any of these values. Now, so how many values are we looking for? We're looking for one value of x, two values, three, four, we don't know. So why don't we go ahead and solve this and find out for ourselves. Now, if you notice, so let's write the equation first here. So we have one divided by x minus one times x minus two plus one divided by, we have x minus two times x minus three and this entire thing is equal to 2 by 3. So if you notice the way the denominator is given, it is factor, it's a product of two factors, right? So let's assume that this entire thing is equal to a, that is x minus 1 is a times x minus 2 is b. So it's a product, right? It's a multiple of two factors. Similarly here x minus 2, which is a common factor as x minus 2, so this will be b and let's say x minus 3 is equal to c. So point I'm trying to make is here the denominator is a times b and here the denominator is b times c. That means when we do when we do the LCM it will be equal to a times b times c. That will be the LCM for these two denominators. So if we write it over here, so let's write the LCM. So we have x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3. Now, if you look at the first fraction, so x minus 1 times x minus 2, so it will be x minus 3 times 1. So this will be 1 times x minus 3, plus here it is x minus 2 times x minus 3, so it will be 1 times x minus 1, x minus 1. And this entire thing is equal to 2 by 3. Now, before we move on, Let's do one thing. Let's solve the top part and see what happens. So 1 times this and 1 times this means basically just this, right? So the numerator will look like 2x minus, so 2x, x plus x is 2x, minus 3 minus 3 is minus 4. Divided by, we have these three factors, x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. This is what we have. And this entire thing is equal to 2 by 3. Let's give ourselves a little bit more space. So what we have now is, so we have 2x minus 4, entire thing divided by the three factors, x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3. And this left-hand side is actually equal to 2 by 3. Now we can say that if we take, if we take 2 common in the numerator, we are left with x minus 2 because 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 2 is minus uh, is 4, so minus 2 minus 4. And if we divide this by x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3, it's equal to 2 by 3. So what we notice is that x minus 2 and x minus 2 cancels out. So now what we are going to do at this point, let's do it here. So let's see if we can draw some sort of a boundary. So from here, we are going to go over here. So what we have is now, so x minus 2, x minus 2 cancels out. So now this 3 will be multiplied by 6. Actually, what we can also do is we can 
uh, we can uh, cancel the 2 and the 2, right? Because the factor 2 and 2 is common. So the 3 goes over here and then x minus 1 times x minus 3 goes over here. So we basically cross multiply like this. So we will have 3 is equal to x minus 1 times x minus 3. So we are going to actually write it this way. So let's now we have to open the, the parentheses, open the brackets. So x times x is x squared, right? x times x, x squared. So x times minus 3 is minus 3x. Minus 1 times x is minus x. Minus 1 times minus 3 is plus 3x. So this side is this is equal to 3. Or from here we see that. Now when this 3 comes on this side, it becomes minus 3. So we are going to have x squared. Now minus 3x minus x is minus 4x. Plus 3, this 1, minus 3 equal to 0. This is the minus 3. So this cancels out. So we are left with x squared minus 4x is equal to 0. So we can take x common. So it will be x times x minus 4 equal to 0. So let's give ourselves a little bit more space here. So what we have right now is x times x minus 4 equals 0. So we know that when we have a product of two numbers equals 0, so this number can be 0 or this number can be 0. Right? They are both possibility. It means that x, from here we see that x can be equal to 0. Also, we see that x minus 4, which is the second factor, x minus 4, this can be 0. So if we think about this factor being 0, so from here we get x equals 4. So in other words, x can be 0 and x can be 4. So these are the two possible values for our equation. So we were looking to find the values of x. So x can be 0 and x can be 